Ready to go! Hello, English students. You are connected once again to a live English class provided by the world's number one website for improving a second language. Here at Verbling.com, we have it all. We have live and in-person native-speaking English teachers, and we have a great community of language learners connecting from all over the world. When is this available? This is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Absolutely changing English learning everywhere in the world there is an internet connection. So, what we are going to be doing this hour, <coughs> excuse me, is that we are going to be reading an article. The article is about your professional image and reputation at work. And the person that wrote this article would like to give you some ideas of how you might be damaging, hurting, or that you may have a negative impact on the way people see you at work, your image at work. And so let's, let's think about that. And so what I would like to do is to first ask everyone, please, to download and open up the document. It's called BB7. Really, the students need to download that document. And thanks to Hamid for posting the direct link to the, to the document in the Verbling chat box. Students need to download this document so that you can read the document clearly, so that you can look back in the text, so that you can read ahead in the text, so that you can copy words that you don't understand and paste them into an online translator or an online English to English dictionary. And so, to start the class, I would like to ask everyone to please, let's work together as a group. Let's make a list of the qualities that make a good employee. What do employers want from their employees? <clears throat> okay, and so I'd like to say hello to LB. Welcome back. Hi, teacher. Glad to see you. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you all. I'm connecting from Venezuela. And can you give us one or two qualities that an employer wants in their employees? Okay. I think uh, it's important for uh, employers to be responsible for okay. the activities they have to, to do. I okay. think that is important, yeah. Yeah, excellent. And so, uh, and I can tell everyone <clears throat> that this is a very important word in English. And so, yeah, responsible is a good word for people to uh, understand. Okay, great. And so I'm going to move on to Emma. Hello, Emma. Hi, sir. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, Please tell uh, us I'm where Matt. you're connecting yeah. from. Yeah, I'm Imad. I'm from Syria. And uh, for me, I think responsibility, as my uh, my friend mentioned here, and I also add uh, the honest, to be honest. Okay, honest. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how <laughs> honest can you be, though? Uh, <clears throat> You, you understand? Sometimes yeah. it's, it's difficult to be really honest. 
you mean you mean that if you have to do something in the say in the bad way that might harm someone? Uh, well, uh, yeah. Sorry, um, but uh, what what was your idea there? Sorry. Could I you mean, repeat your idea he, there, please? I mean, if you are mentioning that it's it's not always good to be honest if it's come yeah. uh, to harm someone if you can too mu okay. uh, too much honest, for example. Yeah, you know? you're, you're being too honest. Yeah. Uh, now, is is that a problem, or is it more that people are dishonest? What do you think is the bigger problem? Not telling uh, the truth. Okay, I'll try to find uh, something that's in the middle of this uh, range. Oh, oh uh, okay. Not to be honest, 100%. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So sometimes you should tell uh, maybe white lie, you name it, or have to. Yes, okay, yeah. a white lie. Sometimes you have to tell white lies. Good. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. And, and so, uh, uh, we're talking about employers. They are the, that's the boss, the business. They want to hire you. And um, honest people can be, sorry, and then you left it there. <laughs> so if we can get you to complete that. And so, Hamid, hello, yes. welcome. Hello, how are you, Jeff? Fine, thank you. Hello, guys, I'm Hamid uh, from Turkey. Uh, in my opinion, Good and level relationship uh, between employers and employee. Uh, it is wonderful for the job, for the environment, and uh, I think I also think uh, teamwork. Oh, good. All right. And so uh, to be, uh, we say in in English, to be a team player. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. Good. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's move on. That's a great one. And Ismail, welcome. Hi, Jeff. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, I, I am Ismail from Turkey. I work as a public servant. Uh, Jeff, it is uh, difficult to do things uh, uh, the servant in the state business because I have not so many uh, motivations, uh, instrumentation, uh, instrumentation in our hand. In oh, okay. so private you, you business, don't, sorry, you, just, you, you don't have very much control. You you can't make a lot of decisions. Yes. Uh, you said no. instrumentation in your hands, but sorry, that doesn't quite under. I, I don't quite understand. So I uh, we have uh, we have en enough motivation tools to do things. Uh, the servants in public business, Jeff. Yeah, the civil uh, servants. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in private business, uh, you, you you may uh, lay off. Some worker, uh, yes, if okay. he if he works uh, correctly or responsibly, but in state business it is difficult to lay off uh, some servants, and okay. uh, it is difficult uh, to make jobs uh, and things. Oh, we okay. Don't Sorry, I, I'm going to move on, Ismail. But uh, great, thank you. It's, it's, uh, there's a big difference, I think, between working for the government and working for private companies. Yeah. Yes. It, I can speak about that in Canada, for sure. Uh, Jose, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm ha always happy to be here with everybody. Okay. Uh, please, tell us where you're connecting from and what do you think is an important quality in a worker? I'm from San Jose, Costa Rica. Um, I think it's good to be disciplined and punctual. Okay. Discipline. Every, yeah. Every boss loves a punctual, disciplined, and conscious employee. Time okay. is money. <laughs> okay, excellent. Yeah, that's what we say. Uh, and so, uh, someone who is 
uh, on time. To be yeah. on time. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the same as to be uh, uh, punctual. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Good. I'm gonna move on then. Excellent comment. And Larissa, hello. Hello. I'm from Brazil. Uh, I think that respect. You have to respect your coworkers. Okay. So to be res respectful of your coworkers. All right. Great. And, and how do you show that? How do you show? Uh, can you give us an example of someone being respectful? Um, let me see. I don't know right now. I mean, oh, okay. no, that's, I think that's... that you you don't um, like invading. I don't know the name in English. But, uh, but go ahead. You, the... you have an idea. Get in the your co-worker space. You know what I mean. Uh, to yeah, to kind of start doing their work, or we we have a yes. word called to interfere, where they're yes. doing a job and then you get involved in it and start causing problems. Yes, and if it is a company, you have to respect, um, let's suppose, their opinions about something, some deal okay. with the company, and this kind of things. Yeah, okay, great. So, good, thank you. Thank you. Excellent yeah. ideas. And Max, hello. Hello, Joe, how are you? Great. 10 out of 10. Uh, Thinking about uh, we are imagining us uh, at work, right? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we are you? imagining us uh, at work. Yes. So, uh, or just in general, uh, what do employers look for in their employees? Ah, I got. You. Okay. <clears throat> uh, in my observation, uh, this is the most important thing uh, to obey the rules and to okay. you know to become uh, become uh, while you are angry uh, or you know the, um, the emotional thing have such like uh, who is uh, you are ready to argue or quarrel somebody who wants to uh, hurt you you must stop this immediately. You okay. must calm down. Yeah. And be respectful to each other, to your colleagues. Okay, great. So to obey the rules, uh, which is very hard to say that in English, but to kind of, we also say to follow the rules and to stay calm. Don't get emotional. Yeah. yeah. That's great. exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, great, thank you, welcome, and uh, Soltes. Soltes. Isvan. Now, I, I'm sorry, we can't, uh, we can't hear you, and so I'm going to go on to uh, Toikan. Hi, Jeff, how are you? <laughs> great, welcome. Ah, thank you. Please join our conversation All about right. what employers look for in their workers. I think uh, they should look for an appropriate aptitude and talent on their employees. And if I want to be an employer, I need to select some eager employees which are ready to do what they are responsible and what they have to. Yeah. Okay, so motivated and eager Absolutely. to do the work. Yeah, okay. Right, and you were talking about uh, to have the correct aptitude or talents. Can you yes. explain that a little bit more? Every, I think every person in Earth, uh, they all have some talents because let's look like a doctor. He should not be an engineer. You need to select your employees in their own ways, in their own talents. Yeah, okay, so putting the right people in the right place. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, so looking for the person who is uh, has the right aptitude or talent. Okay, Absolutely. excellent. So, everybody gets full marks on that assignment. Uh, fantastic. Um, a, a great list of uh, ideas, a, a great list of words describing the perfect employee. Okay, so let's uh, open up our document, start reading. My idea is to read some text and then to open up the class for everyone to make one quick um, contribution to the conversation about the content of the text. What did you read? What did you understand? What do you think is important in the text? So let's open up the document BB7 and let's start reading this. And this is just from the internet. And so it is real English, written by native speakers, be read by native speakers. 100% real English. And uh, so uh, let's go ahead with uh, LV. Would you start reading this for us, please? Okay. Uh, 10 things you might be doing that could hurt your career. By Alan Norton, November 10, 2010. Takeaway. If your job isn't going as well as you'd hope, you may unwittingly, unwittingly be doing something that's holding you back. Alan Norton, look at some of the less obvious ways people sabotage their careers. Okay, and, and let's stop there for a second because we've got lots of uh, real English here. And so, can somebody make some comments about this? And uh, LV, if, if want to make a comment go ahead what what are they talking about here there are some important words here I have no idea yeah yet. okay and and now but at this point I, I need students to tell me what what do you understand or what don't you understand uh, because uh, these words are important to to learn uh, I think yeah. uh, the the meaning is kind of uh, if you are not interested in your job or if you don't like your job, but uh, if you don't feel in what you are doing, then you unconsciously doing something uh, ah. wrong or not. Okay. Yeah. Now uh, that's good. Now um, so Ahmad has talked about something that's very important. Now. Unconsciously, though, is different from unwittingly. And so in this situation, uh, what you said is not correct. But you, you said something really great in English. So some people, they don't like their job, and so they unconsciously do a bad job because they want to be fired. <laughs> yeah, they, they want their boss to say, Go find another job. It's kind of mistakes that yeah. you commit without being aware of. Uh, okay. Now, but this case, it's different because you're not happy with the way that your career is moving up. So unwittingly or unknowingly, you're doing something that is hurting your reputation at work. So what you said was very close, but this is a little different. This is where you, you want to do well at work. Now, what does sabotage mean, for example? I, I, do people know what that is? Yeah, to demolish something. Yes, okay. It's, well, uh, now, let me see. It's to make something so that it doesn't work. So not necessarily to destroy something, you sabotage something yeah, so that it doesn't work, so that it stops functioning. We may hurt our careers. Yes. Yeah. Right. Your yeah to make your and and Laurent is saying to sabotage, and and he knows the words sabotage, it comes from French, 
to make uh, your career uh, go the wrong way. Yeah, or or just not go anywhere. Uh, we've or got some other. Be, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Be, I'm sorry. It could be to block the way you had yes. it. Good. Yeah. All right. So you're talking about hurting your career. You're talking about sabotaging your career. You're talking about holding yourself back, not allowing yourself to go forward. This is what we're talking about. Your job or your career isn't going as well as you had hoped, as you'd hoped. So you're thinking, wow, uh, my career, you're <clears throat> just going to turn off my screen share, <clears throat> you're thinking, uh, my career is not going very well. I wonder why. <laughs> I see other people moving up, and I'm still here. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm hurting my career, sabotaging my career, or maybe I'm holding myself back by making some mistakes. That's the idea. Great job, everybody. Let's move on. And if I could get Emad, could you read this for us, please? Uh, okay. Okay. Over the over over the years, I have observed uh, some of my closest friends uh, and associate and associated and uh, associated uh, associates. associates. Yeah, associates make mistakes that had a negative impact on their careers. Other mistakes I have uh, discovered. For myself, I won't focus here on the obvious uh, gaps, uh, uh, like uh, insubordination, 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 poor work performance, and other common methods of committing uh, job side. I will instead discuss some of the ways uh, you might be un uh, unknowingly hurting your career. Okay, great. And so, thank you so much. Great job with your pronunciation. So, just uh, let me help you with instead. Like head. Uh, instead. Or dead. Yeah. Instead. And instead. associates. Co-workers. Associates. Associates. All right. And insubordinate. Insubordination. Insubordination. All right. Insubordination. Yeah. So, what, what, is, what is this person talking about here? And let's, the, the challenge in learning a language is to read something and then understand it. So now we've read it, we have looked at pronunciation, but now we need to understand what is this person trying to communicate to you? What do they want to say? Some ideas? I think uh, uh, it's all about. Uh, uh, that he came through as experience with, with with kind of common mistakes and uh, and common uh, things that happened and he discovered uh, when he uh, think about it or maybe he discovered that he made some of these mistakes uh, yes. that he would, yeah so he he did some of them himself okay yeah. so now but these are okay. not necessarily common mistakes. Uh, what is what is he going to talk about and what is he not going to talk about? Can, can someone else make some, some comments here? It's the method that... Sorry, Ahmad, the, I just, sorry, uh, Ahmad but, I, I'd like to get some participation yeah, from okay, the other okay. students. Thank you, though. I'll, I'll come back to you if I need help. But. For example, Jeff, yes? uh, he or she mentions, uh, I have observed uh, some of my uh, closest friends, and... Uh, what what did they do? Uh, make mistakes uh, yes. uh, together, okay. and uh, he or she says, I have discovered uh, for myself too. Okay, so we're talking about from this person's experience, they yes. saw their friends making mistakes, 
and he or she made mistakes uh, and himself. And it's Alan, so this is a man. Okay, he. So we can, we can say he. All right. Okay. Now, he's talking about what he will not focus on. So, Obvious mistakes. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, gaffes are mistakes. Like what? Methods of committing a job aside. A <laughs> job aside? Okay. Job aside. And, yeah. <laughs> and, and so job aside is not a real word. It, he's making a joke. He's combining the word job plus suicide. Do you understand the joke he's making? Can you explain? Well, does 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 anybody understand the joke he's making here? Yes, Jeff. Yes, Isma. The writer combined uh, two words and get a new word. Job and plus suicide, job aside. Uh, and what is he means trying to, to say? Kill, to kill the job. Or yeah, it's to, well, uh, yeah, and Rafa has put suicide your job, but I, I like uh, the way Ismail started it. It's to kill your own job. Damage your job. Yeah, okay. To kill your own job. That's the idea. So he's not going to talk about obvious things. Okay? Obvious ways of destroying your own job. He's going to talk about other things that are not so obvious that you might be doing without knowing it. Do people understand the idea? Jeff? Uh, yeah? Some, some employers uh, are making mistakes. Uh, now, employees. Employees. Employees are making yes. mistake uh, uh, unawarely, maybe. They, yeah, unknowingly. Yes. Yeah, they are not aware of the fact that they are making mistakes. They don't notice the mistakes. Right. Okay, they don't notice the mistakes. Okay, good. So maybe by reading this, we will learn something that we are doing <laughs> to hurt our career. Okay, so let's keep going here. And if I could get Hamid, could you read yes. this, please? Okay. Portraying the wrong image. Take a critical look in the mirror and ask yourself if what you see is the image you want to present to the world. If you dare, ask a true friend for his or her honest opinion. What you see may not be what others see. If your desk is a mess, you are disorganized. If your shoes are unpolished, you lack attention to the de detail. If you interrupt, you don't listen to others and lack patience. If you have a, a poor hygiene, you are lazy. Okay, and I'll get you to stop there. Hygiene. Hygiene. Okay. And so, what what are we talking about here? Anybody? And and I I'm can. Uh, uh, yeah. So yes. what, what are I we talking about here? I can say that we, we can use an idiom like two hats are better than one. Okay, yes. Now, uh, Tolkan, uh, Tolkan, please hold on for a second. All right. Uh, uh, Kerem, Kerem Oz, are you there? All right. Uh, uh, Kerem, Kerem Oz. Kerem Oz, hello? Yes, sir, hello. Are you there? Yes. Yes, hello. Uh, I will now mm -hmm. You have two problems. You have an echo. We are hearing an echo in the background. So okay. could you please use headphones or could you please close the verbal window? And two, could you please keep your microphone turned off 
unless you are speaking. Do you understand? Uh, but sir, uh, I don't. I no no I don't understand you. you. You need to keep your microphone turned off unless you are speaking. I will I will read this uh, text. No. Yes. No. You need no. You need to turn off your microphone. Uh, Please keep your microphone off. Thank you. And and so, uh, uh, Toikan, go okay. ahead. Please. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, I said that we can use an idiom like two heads are better than one because okay. a friend who who's near you who works with you can see your negative sides and tell what they are. Okay, good. Now, I, I think the, the expression two heads are better than one is not necessarily the best one to use in this situation. But, but thank you. It, it's, it's good. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I just, just to be honest, I, I think it's, you know, two people can solve problems better than one person. But uh, I like your idea. A coworker can see your your negative side. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Now, uh, another idea from people. Larissa, I haven't heard from you. Uh, we have mermaid or mermaid. Jose? Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. I'm. I don't think I, I get the idea yet because I just okay. joined the class. Oh, okay. That's fine. Thank you. Welcome. Larissa, do you have a comment? Thank you. No, teacher. Go ahead. Well, okay. <laughs> but the, <laughs> I think the, it the just, problem uh, is, yeah, just, just give me one second. Uh, okay. um, the thing is, I can't go ahead if the students don't participate. So I'm, I'm waiting to hear from lots of students telling me, yes, I understand this, or, sorry, Jeff, help me, I don't understand. And so I'm waiting for students to participate. Uh, and so uh, let's, let's go for it. Um, just to repeat, uh, what is the idea here? I think uh, there are uh, some rules uh, to, good, uh, uh, to be honest. Uh, and uh, through people uh, for the job. Well, uh, okay. But yes, teacher. Sorry, uh, I, I, I'm not sure, Hamid. Uh, LV, do you? Yes, teacher. I think that is supposing uh, sometimes you have uh, things in your uh, lifestyle or personal details Good. And you need okay. you need to know because uh, maybe you you know anything about them, yeah. And others uh, can help you to to see what is your situation. Good. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your personal details, like like what, for example. Anybody? What are some of the details that they mention here? Do yeah. You, do you understand? Be, yeah. Yeah. It could be anything. Uh, that you might uh, be um, not careful about, and that may affect some that image about you personality. And uh, for example, if you don't, uh, if you are unpolished, use that may uh, give an image for you as someone who don't care about the details or Good. don't yeah, pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And people understand poor hygiene. Yes. What does that mean? Yes. In simple uh, words. Simple word, uh, to be clean. Right, exactly. So, you know, yeah, and, and Ismail has said, we cannot evaluate ourselves objectively. Right, it's, it's better to get an honest opinion from someone else. And so, something that you're not aware of, all of you have done a great job explaining this. So, if your desk is messy, you're unprofessional, you're disorganized. Uh, but you may not think of that. Okay, so great. Let's keep going. Uh, this is the idea. Uh, and uh, if I could ask uh, Ismail, could you read this for us, please?
Even the wrong body language can be sending the wrong messages. Slouching in your chair might be telling others that you are tired and lacking ambitions. Okay, good. So, uh, slouching, I, I'm assuming that people don't, don't know what this is. So, uh, to, be, to be sitting straight up, to have good posture, and then slouching. Okay, so even using the correct body language at work can be important. That's what slouch. Good. Let's continue, please, Isma. Number two. Two, asking when you should have been silent. In many situations, your wisest course of action is to keep quiet. Go ahead, please. Asking for a transfer. If you have any value at all, your manager will not be happy to hear that you want a transfer. I have seen it too many times. A quality employee telegraphs that he or she is looking for greener pastures. If the transfer never comes, and it almost never does, your manager becomes worried. Not only is your career hurt, but your job may be at risk. Okay, so what are we what are we talking about here? Uh, this is all part of two, and so what what is this situation here? Anybody? Yes, Jeff. <clears throat> so, Ismail, uh, could you give us one point that you think is important here? We should be careful if we uh, want to change the uh, workplace yeah. or if we want to work uh, in it in another place of same organization exactly or you want to work in another department yes yeah and and Laurent is saying uh, you want to know how others see you and he's he was talking about uh, bad um, I'm, I'm sorry, he's talking about bad hygiene, you need to take a shower. <laughs> okay, so some other points here about asking for a transfer. What is the person saying about this? It says uh, quality employee uh, telegraphs uh, to someone. Yeah, now what? But what does that mean, though? Because they they've got a we use a couple of expressions here. Uh, what communication. Does it mean to telegraph. Communication easily. Well, let me see. To telegraph something means to communicate it. Yes. But uh, for uh, for the place uh, people. I'm I'm sorry. Could you say that again? Uh, for uh, for. Uh, Place, uh, in, how can I explain? For example, you are Chile, I am in uh, Turkey, so okay. I can telegraph you. Sorry, yeah, but that's yes. that's not how it's being used here, though, Hamid. But good, sending someone a telegraph is kind of that old way of communicating. It's kind yeah, of sending, sending yeah. a message with different. Uh, Message way, I think. Too. Sending a message in a very non-obvious way. Yeah, yes. indirect way. Yeah. Yeah. That you in you are looking for. Way. That you are looking for better. Uh, uh, let's say employee or not employee, maybe manager. Yeah. Yeah, a, a better. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. So, what does that say to your manager if you ask for a transfer? It's bad means that uh, you are not satisfied with uh, working with him, and uh, you might find another um, opportunity, and you just forget everything about him, and you just want to leave the job whenever you want, uh, whenever you have the chance to do that. Yeah, right. Okay. And what if, what if you don't get the transfer? What if, what if the transfer never comes? You might be fired. Well, okay, but 
you need to continue working for that same manager. <laughs> it's a big risk <laughs> to ask for a transfer. You're, a, you're just saying, I, I'm looking for greener pastures. This is an expression where it's a better situation. And so your manager will become wary. What does that mean? Angry? Jeff, Jeff, no, just, but good guess. It's not angry. Sorry. It is Better not good for the manager to work with a co-worker uh, uh, who want to can, uh, change your uh, department or your, your, right. your workplace. They, they want to change to a different department, yeah? And, and sorry, what does wary mean? I think uh, uh, yeah. he's going to be careful, yeah. Yes, yeah, the cautious. manager is going to be very uh, cautious. Sorry, cautious, extra careful. What What did you say? Uh, uh, attentive, you attentive. Now, sorry, attentive means that you're really going to help. Oh, people, all right. But, but, the, but the, the manager is going to keep an eye on you. He's going to watch you. But because the manager is kind of suspicious. Okay? Can we say can we say prudent? Mm, sorry. It, it's not really no, that's a, that's a different word. Sorry. Huh. To be your manager is gonna become cautious, suspicious, and careful. And, and so that that's not what you want. You want them to be comfortable and to trust you. Not be nervous. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. And so, uh, if I could get Jose to read this for us, please. Okay. Asking for a raise. Aggressively asking for a raise when times are tough may be seen as inappropriate. Each manager is different, so knowing his or her preferences will give you a good idea whether you should ask for that raise you think you deserve. If you are unsure, it is better to concentrate on demonstrating your worth and just keep quiet. <laughs> okay, great. All right. So, what uh, what do what do people think about this? Could someone yeah. repeat the, the important information here? Uh, asking for raise maybe uh, might be very dangerous yes. because uh, you should know when to time. You, uh, the timing is everything. You should choose the right time. Uh, that will, and, and this is very hard thing because you have to understand your manager first. Okay, yeah. good. No, but just you've got two good ideas there. So timing is everything. That's a really great expression. Timing is everything. So maybe now, during an economic crisis, it's not a good time to ask for a raise. <laughs> All right? And each manager is different. And so as you said... Yeah, and, yeah, and you mentioned at the end that the replacement for this uh, idea is to show that you, you deserve more than what you are getting, without saying that directly. Just demonstrate your worth. What, what does that mean? Yeah, you, you kind of said that. it, but you have yeah. to show that you're worth more than what you are take, uh, gaining right now. Yeah, earning. Mm -hmm. Without yeah, saying to, that, to show that, your value. You are a valuable employee. You have to show that, demonstrate that. Sounds good. Let Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, uh, and so let's go with this then. And uh, hello, Kerem. Kerem Oz. Hello, Kerem Oz. Turn on your microphone, please. Okay, okay well, it's too bad. Uh, hello. Uh, oh, yes, there you are. Yes. Go ahead, please. Could you read this for us? I will read. A asking for permission. Yes, please. Uh, ask, asking for permission. It it can be 
any int to a neighbor. Any int. Any, any int. Annoy. Annoying. Annoying. Perfect. Uh, to a manager to have a subordinate who uh, continuously ask for approval. Your manager may we have used you as an employee on billing employee 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 on on billing to take responsibility and lacking leadership skills. Okay, great, thank you. So annoy like like boy. Okay. Annoy and continually Con continually. Con continually. And employee. Employee. Ye. Employee. Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, so what what are they talking about here? Everybody? What's the information here? Uh, it's like if you are always asking for permission for everything you want to do, that would may uh, be like uh, a child that who always try to bother the uh, the manager by asking yeah. for silly uh, permissions. Yeah, so it's annoying, it's bothersome to constantly ask for permission. And what else? Uh, anybody else? What does it show your manager? What does it say about you? I'm willing to take responsibility. Well, and unwilling, yeah. And lacking uh, leadership uh, skills. Exactly. So you're not responsible, or you you are unwilling. Now, people under uh, understand this word to be willing to do something uh, or unwilling to do something. Doesn't want to do uh, something. Good. Right. Yeah, and lacking leadership skills. Great, great. Let's keep going. Oh, this is this is my favorite here. Uh, and so uh, I'd like to go to Mermaid. Yeah. Could you read this uh, words, please? Sure. Uh, asking for forgiveness. It's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. But it is even better to, uh, to take responsibility. Okay, and so just if I can get you to stop there for a second, what what does this mean? Anybody can put this thought in their own words? A teacher. The team player. Yes, I think uh, that could be dangerous in some way. Yeah, I understand the point, but uh, yeah. sometimes when you have a very <laughs> terrible uh, job, I think you need to 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 ask uh, for a uh, yeah for permission when you have to 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 do something, yeah, okay. especially when it's uh, delicate, something really. Delicate? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. No, no, sorry, just the pronunciation and, and to help everybody with this. Uh, we, uh, I had some words here. Um, inappropriate. Inappropriate it. Not eight. Try not to say eight. Inappropriate. And you were saying the word delicate. Delicate. All right. So you disagree with this, then? Tell me. LB, you disagree with this? Yeah, in yeah. some way, yeah. Oh, okay. No, that, that's sometimes fine. Sometimes you need to be careful, yeah? Yeah, you, okay. You can lose your, your, your job. Oh, okay, great. It depends on the, 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 the boss you have. 
Yeah. Okay. So there's this, there's the phrase here in the inter, uh, in the article. It's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. This is idea number one, and LB understands this and doesn't really agree with it. That's that's fine. That's perfect. What's the next idea, though? It means that uh, uh, if you are asking for for, for forgiveness, uh, uh, you can do that uh, by your actions, by showing your responsibility, by taking the charge okay. of uh, everything. Yeah. Not by asking, okay. but just just by words. Yeah. All right. Now, what you said was good. It's valuable, but I, I don't think it's the idea that the writer is trying to communicate here. What does it mean to take responsibility for the mistake? If we take a responsibility uh, one many, many, uh, we can uh, make many mistakes. Yes, okay. Jeff, we should yeah. we shouldn't make excuse and we accept the mistakes and we try to yeah. No, it's good. Please, go ahead. Don't make excuses. I think we, we should, uh, if we uh, made a mistake, we should accept it and we try to do not uh, again. Okay. And so, uh, I'm only laughing because sometimes you people say things that it's just like a native speaker. And so it makes me laugh because it sounds really good. So stop making excuses, accept responsibility for the mistake, and don't ask for forgiveness. Tell the other people to remember the mistake. <laughs> accept responsibility for it. Don't ask for forgiveness. Don't ask to be forgiven. Say, I made this decision. Unfortunately, it was a mistake, and I accept full responsibility for it. And that's it. That's the idea, I think. Great. Right. Uh, also, uh, don't worry. Uh, be trust yourself. Okay, sure. Yeah. Trust in your own decisions. We say that quite often. Good. And then, um, uh, Tori Khan, could you read this for us, please? Yeah, sure. Failing to be a team player. Becoming a member of a team, especially if the team is successful, can bring you exposure and new opportunities. But if you bring along a do-it-or-yourself or a lone wolf mentality, you may be labeled as a person who isn't a team player. You may believe that hoarding information, code, or documentation will give you job security, but it will first give you a reputation as someone who's unwilling to work with others. Okay, great. Perfect. Perfect job with your pronunciation. And so, what are they talking about here? Uh, this is, this is your opportunity. Yeah. Sure. yeah go ahead. About, uh, Oika? Your team, it, it opens you some new doors to to make you continue your career. It could have their advantages and their new opportunities as we read from the text. Yeah, so it's really good to be part of a successful team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. That's, that's point number one. And uh, it's, it's, some, it's something like a lone wolf. I think being a lone wolf will bring you some question marks and it will it, it won't uh, make you see your faults, see your wrong sides and it's important to be a team, especially a, a perfect team. Okay, and, and think I think, sorry, it, I just it, wanted to, just to repeat right. that idea, so if you're a do-it-all-yourself person or a lone wolf if you have a similar expression in your language, then you're going to be seen as a person who is not a team player. 
So be careful. Be careful with that uh, image. Uh, now, being a lone wolf is not really a negative image, though. It, it, in some situations, that can be a positive image. But you're, you're not going to look like a team player. That's the consequences of being a lone wolf. Do, do people understand that expression? Yes. Yes, Jeff. Yeah. It's like okay. uh, it's like playing uh, soccer alone. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Okay. And then, what about the the final piece of text? Uh, I think this is really in interesting. Anybody? And everybody yeah, about, can, uh, can the... participate. Yes. Yes, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, sorry, someone started first, but. Go ahead, please. It's, it's uh, like yeah, uh, actually yeah. want. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's let's let Laurent uh, say something. Go ahead, Laurent. Uh, yeah, it's like um, if you you want to to work alone, you you don't want to. Uh, uh, it's uh, the um, the the picture uh, the others can have uh, of you. Oh, okay. Uh, now that's kind of. Sorry, that, that's more of the that's more the previous issue. Uh, what does it mean to hoard information oh. or yeah what does it mean to hoard information uh, to uh, to uh, to take uh, take information in uh, in all the documents you can have uh, without uh, asking uh, to your team well uh, sorry no. not exactly no you sorry yes mermaid Maybe, maybe when you keep it to yourself, like a right. secret. Okay. So it can good. be, it can be uh, stacking or accumulate some stuff. Accumulating, yeah. Exactly. Maybe accumulating. But in this, I think Mermaid understands well. Where? Uh, oh, and sorry. Let's say hello to Blanca. Hi, Blanca. Do you have a comment? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I am from El Salvador. Oh, okay, great. Uh, do you have a comment about the article? Uh, the the last the last part for me it's um, more or less uh, accumulate accumulate information. Accumulate. Accumulate information. Yeah. Okay. And then I think the idea of a mermaid is good, where you keep it for yourself. <laughs> And because why? Why does someone keep important information for themselves? What's the idea in the in the article? Um, maybe, maybe um, in order to show to show the boss that you are the best and you are achieving, or yeah. you're working hard, okay, or you work holic. Yeah, <laughs> it makes it makes you look good. All right, and and someone else had a point. Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's because of this uh, the secrets that you think that is very important to keep it for yourself a new new career because if you taught it to anyone else, he or she might be a good com co uh, competitor for you. Yes. You. Okay. Good. Excellent. It's Maybe. Too, yeah. It's and too sorry, too Blanca, go ahead, please. Too. I I wanted to try to speak Thank you. Uh, well, sorry because. I I intro in in this class in the left fifteen minutes because I am in my lunch time today. So in the the um, the less that that I hear you about the class, I think that this topic is about the all the all that we learning in our career. We have a. a um, what is the word? It is a hard information. Okay. Uh, is yeah. is is very important. Yeah. Uh, okay. Important information. All in, right. Important information. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And and Laurent, uh, a comment from you, please. Yes. Uh, I think um, when uh, you you want to order information, is to uh, to and uh, you don't want to share uh, to share them. It's, right. Uh, it's in order to to be the one who have uh, 
all the answers of uh, all the the problems or or the questions. Yeah. Okay. And, great. Uh, and and uh, Hipfe is saying like a squirrel is hoarding nuts. The, the animal squirrels they hoard nuts. <laughs> yeah. All right. And so let's let's end the class here. But I just want to say thank you to everyone. That was perfect. Uh, we did some reading, and everybody was responding and uh, um, participating and expressing the ideas. So great job! So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Don't sir. don't, don't, don't you. hoard the information about verbling just for yourself. <laughs> Share it with everybody. Okay. Tell everybody in the world about verbling.com. Right. Okay, just <laughs> 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 <laughs>